666's ongoing commitment to the Brotherhood, they traveled to Washington State for the Sniper's Hide Cup to learn as much as possible and to give back information relevant to the community. We love coming down and we appreciate you having us. These matches are a ton of fun. The Sniper Side Cup is one of our favorite matches. Uh, every year we're going to try and make it out to this thing and bring as many of our friends as we can. Uh, of course the fire is fun. Uh, you guys always do something a little bit different. You know, you always break a little bit of trend, you know, whether it's pistol or scoring or, you know, letting all our targets be behind trees and, and like the inner visibility that we shot. Uh, we shot Delta and Echo yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was amazing that you could move 100 yards down the firing line and you couldn't see any of the other stages' targets. It, well, it's a practical field course. It's awesome. I mean, yeah. that's right in your guys' wheelhouse. I mean, we can put it in a sort of three-gun format, but that's not something I personally like. I like the field matches. I come from the military like you guys, and that's something that I like to see. Guy's yeah. not going to stand out in the open for us. He's not going to be with his back against the berm. Yeah. He's going to be behind a tree in the woods where you can't see the, the uh, results of your shots all the time. So that helps just hone those skills, and that's what I really, I really appreciate about these locations, which is it's, it's tough to change locations like this to move around because these people don't know me. I have to get to know them uh, as far as the host, the in-motion targets here. Um, but at the same time, it brings a whole new element to the match, and that makes it fresh, and that makes it interesting. The different sectors of fire is something I appreciate too. A lot of matches are, you know, they're strung out in one line and they're all kind of shooting the same direction. Uh, like we're shooting 360 degrees here. You know, five sectors of fire. Uh, it's awesome. We're forced to do so many things here that we just, we don't typically do. And it yeah, really shows our weaknesses. Your gear, your tripods, yeah. all that stuff, and which is, again, you know, how to best use it under time. Yeah. It's not just taking, 15 minutes to set up your tripod in the shot. It's you got three minutes to do all that. So that forces you to kind of go out of your box a little bit. And then like you said with the PRS guys, they don't have the booklets, they don't have the ability to game the night before. They're exactly like you said, on even footing because they have to manage that same stuff under the same time without the feedback they're norm normally used to getting. Yeah. And so it makes it a challenge for everybody. So I, I like that a lot. Love all the movers. My favorite stage is probably the, the one that I shot the worst on so far. That 800 yard mover was a ton of fun. Yeah. Yeah, just watching that rock fly apart everywhere but on steel. That in, in motion targets makes the mover systems we all use. And yeah. so there's five mover stages here, which is unheard of for some people are saying, you know, oh my God, you got five stages. So every segment has a mover in it. And we went from about 400 yards to 800 yards on the movers. And that makes it challenging. Get back. These matches being so far from home, you know, uh, the Canadian shooting community, obviously due to our population, is a little bit smaller, but you know, the more of your friends, you know, get a hold of us, uh, you know, anybody in your, in your province or your area, you know, carpool, share hotels, do whatever you can do, but get down to these matches because, you know, you're not gonna learn sitting at home and watching and, and the fear of coming out to one of these and not doing well is every match you skip is a match that everyone else is getting better and you're not. So just get out, expose yourself to it, be humble, have fun. And it's a laugh, man. We're a laugh. Oh, yeah. Even when it's porn, we're laughing. I mean, who cares? It's, wow. it's just a match. You do like to make fun of Canadians. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't make fun of Canadians. Eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. No, yeah. good times. Yeah, well, thanks again for having us, No, Frank. thank you guys for coming. I we'll, appreciate it. We'll catch up with you some more here later today. Always happy to support the friends from the north. Awesome. Thanks, guys.